How's it going, guys? We are back with another video. This time, I will be reviewing the career of Paul Coffey. So, yeah, Paul Coffey uh, had a pretty good rookie season. As a 19-year-old with the Edmonton Oilers, he had 9 goals, 23 assists, and 32 points in 74 games. Really solid first impression, if you ask me. But the best was yet to come from Paul Coffey. So, in the next season, he would explode on the score sheet and got 29 goals, 60 assists, 89 points in 80 games. And this was just some <laughs> outstanding production from Coffey. Next season, he would score, um, oh gosh. So he would score, um, oh man, I don't see the amount of goals that he scored there. And then I kind of may have messed up with the, some, oh no, sorry, 29 goals, 67 assists, 96 points. Sorry for that. <laughs> In 80 games, since I messed up, I wrote the wrong number there. So yeah, that's no big deal. The next season, he would have a really good year again. Getting 40 goals and 86 assists for 126 points in 80 games. So those are pretty good numbers. And yeah, that, that's awesome. But the really, really, really great goal production would come in just a couple of seasons. Uh, next year... So that next year, he had 37 goals, 84 assists, 121 points in 80 games. So he had um, really good production again, as always. He's like, he was, most of his career, he was a uh, top D-man in the league. Pretty good player. So yeah, the next year, he would score uh, 48 goals, 90 assists, 138 points in 79 games. And that would indeed be a career high point total for coffee. Uh, <clears throat> so next season, he had a slight dip in production, but he missed a lot of time too. He had 17 goals, 50 assists, 67 points in 59 games. And that's also some solid produce. The next season, he, score, he would score at a the same, a similar rate again, with 15 goals, 52 assists, 67 points, this time in 46 games. So yeah, that was good numbers. And that would be his first season, actually, with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. That season where he had, the first season where he had 67 points was his last with the Oilers. Sorry. The next year, he would play in most of the games the next season, and he would, and that that and his numbers improved. Where he had thirty goals, eighty three assists for one hundred thirteen points in seventy five games. So, yeah, played a lot of the season that year. He played most. He played well. Uh, pretty a pretty. Um, how do you ah uh, yeah? He played quite a bit more games. The next season, he had scored 29 goals and 74 assists for 103 points in 80 games with the Penguins. And he is 28 years old at this point. And um, after this season, it's where he starts to decline a little bit. But he's not like, like, this isn't a huge downfall or anything. It's just a decline a bit since, like, soon he would start aging a bit. So, yeah. So as I said, this was gonna happen. He had the next season. He had twenty nine goal. Uh, he had twenty four goals, sixty nine assists, ninety three points in seventy six games. So yeah, that's another. The next season, he just had a extreme. He had a still steady production. Um, a bit of a no, a pretty noticeable goal. Notice. A bull drop off in points with 11 goals, 58 assists, 69 points in 64 games. So, uh, yeah, that's obviously a, a slight drop, but 
still not bad. Next season, he would get one goal, four assists for five points in just ten games. And this was his... And sorry, no. After those 64 games with the Penguins where he got 69 points, he actually got five points in ten games with the Kings. So he got moved to the Kings that year. And the next season, he would start the season off with the Kings. As a 31-year-old, he would get eight goals, 49 assists, 57 points in 50 games with LA. But then he would get moved again to Detroit. So with Detroit that season, he had four goals, 26 assists, 30 points in 30 games. Just to update you guys, this was in 1992-93 NHL season. So next year would be his first, like, full NHL season with the Red Wings, where he got 14 goals, 63 assists, 77 points in 80 games. And that is a pretty good offensive production. So, yeah, he... And then, yeah, that's that season. Then the next year, he um, would have another um, pretty good year. With the Red Wings, uh, 14 goals, 44 assists, 58 points in 45 games. Um, still a steady number of points. And um, if you ask me, he was pretty good that season also. Uh, then the next year, he would get 14 goals, 60 assists, 74 points in 76 games. Um, and... More good production. Coffey. Uh, the next season, Paul Coffey would start the season off the Hartford Whalers in 96-97 season, where he would have three goals, five assists, eight points in 20 games, before getting shipped off to Philadelphia to finish off the year, where he got six goals, 26, uh, six goals 20 assists, 26 points in 37 games. And... He is 35, and that's pretty decent production for a 35-year-old defenseman. And yes, he would have two goals, 27 assists, 29 points in 57 games with Philly the next season. And that would be his last year in Philadelphia. where Because where the next year, he would play with Chicago Blackhawks to start off, to start off the year. We had zero goals, four assists, four points in ten games before getting traded to the Carolina Hurricanes and getting two goals, eight assists, ten points in 44 games. Then, the next year with Carolina, he was all pretty solid. 11 goals, 29 assists, 40 points in 69 games. And then, last season of his career, which happened to be the 2000-2001 season with the Boston Bruins. He would have zero goals, four assists, four, po uh, four points in 18 games. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, Sportsman34. Subscribe, like, watch other videos. And bye.